Okay, so we're back. Um, so finally, I've finished the pedal board, um, and then I'm just going to briefly discuss how I uh, attached it to my computer because this was very tricky and took me all of probably um, two plus a week's trying to figure this out since my last video I made. Okay, so for this, remember um, we've already connected um, our pedals via our read switches up to the keys, I mean up to the, um, what is this thing, MIDI encoder. <laughs> and so once we have everything attached via our encoder, remember the red light will come on and flash telling you that there's MIDI data flowing through. The next thing to do is, um, as I discussed before, you connect your power and everything. So when you press the pedal, or when you turn on your power supply, um, you'll get your red light on your encoder, your green light on the encoder, which stays on. And then when you depress the pedal, you'll see a red flashing light. All right. Um, so when you get all this set up, the next thing that you want to do is go to the Hackwork website and download the software program for your computer. Um, and then once you, um, it's pretty self-explanatory, once you download it, you'll get, um, I think there's four different configurations, which basically means you can configure the software four different ways, and you just have to open it that one time and you can access that particular configuration that you have. Then you'll load up the organ. I currently have the free one, which is the St. Anne's Mosley organ. And this one, um, doesn't have the full pedal board. I think it only has 30 pedals available for it. So I have to figure out how to add more pedals, but that is that. So once you get that all set up, the um, next step is pretty easy. So, well, relatively easy if you know what you're doing. So um, you're gonna need a MIDI to USB cable. So USB, to MIDI. Now this is the very important part that I took me the past two weeks to figure out because I bought three MIDI cables thinking that it was a problem with the MIDI cable. Then I bought a new encoder thinking it was a problem with the encoder. Um, yeah, so I know that this is a brand new encoder so I know that it's working. The old one, I think I may have shorted it out again. So don't touch anything electrical to this. <laughs> and it will be fine. But anyway, back to MIDI. So for the MIDI cables, now this is important. The MIDI, at least for what I have, um, for mine, the MIDI in, the MIDI out cable goes into the MIDI in port here. So let's see here. Um, see how this is MIDI in? You need the MIDI out plug to go into the MIDI in part of your encoder. And then the MIDI in goes into the MIDI out part of the encoder. And then you'll just plug it into the USB. Before I had MIDI in into MIDI in and MIDI out into MIDI out, that was wrong, at least for the the um, cable that I have, which is this eMedia one, which is the one that seems to be working. Um, when I plug at least mine, it has a red light that turns on when you plug it in, indicating that there's that this is connected to your computer and there's power flowing through it. Then it has two other LEDs, an in and an out. And this indicates where the MIDI data is flowing, either to your computer or to the encoder. Um, now, when I was trying to troubleshoot this, what the tech support people told me to think about this is, is that um, since you're connecting the MIDI in plug into the MIDI out port, part of the encoder, think of it as many data is flowing out of the encoder and into your computer. So that works for you, great, it worked for me, but um, yeah. So basically, when you press the pedal, you'll see a light flash. And I highly recommend if you get this, get a USB to MIDI cable that has these um, lights on it. I also have another cable Sorry, which is this um, MIO, which is the first one I bought. It does not have the LEDs, so I wouldn't recommend this one. 
and it didn't work for me after swapping it both midi in midi out i'm not quite sure what the issue was with that, but i just know if the e-media one works so i'm gonna stick with that one so back to what i was saying so now we have the midi cables connected to the computer via usb um, and we've configured it on the half work you would just choose your stop um, and you want to right click on the pedal if I can bring this up here, right click on the pedal and then click auto detect MIDI trigger and basically what this is going to do is ask you to press the lowest key on your pedal board and the highest key on your pedal board and then the done sign will, pop, will highlight, I've already done this so it should have saved the settings for it and then this done button will be able be available for you to click, you click done I'm going to click cancel so I already did it. And then you should be good to go. So when you press the pedal, you should hear it. Yes. And that's it. So um, if you, this also, I ran into this issue too. Um, I had to make some more minor adjustments to my reed switches just because when you press the pedal, it will either stay on or you won't hear it, which is this minor adjustment. Just move this up or down to reposition it to make sure everything is lined up. And then you also see when you press the pedal down on the pedal board, you'll see it on the screen here. So that's an F that I'm pressing here. Um, yeah, so basically what you do here will show up here. Um, and I'm going to play with this a little bit more and figure it out, but that's pretty much it. So the next step is to um, close our, our pedal board up, lay it flat on the ground, stick it under our keyboard setup here, add lights to our setup, and um, put the bench back and it will be done. So I will make the final video once I... Um, get to adding the lights. All right.